Well, 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 Bungie definitely knows how to get the hype train started. We got the release of the season 14 trailer, season of the splicer today, and it looks amazing. We already knew a few of the things that were coming this season, but there's a couple more extra little tidbits in there, which I was excited to see. So let's dive in. I've been getting back into Destiny and I wanted to make a video for you guys covering what we know so far about the season and what to do in this last week of season 13 to prepare for season of the Splicer. I also really want to get the Presage chests out for you guys, all the rest of them since they are available now with the reset, but I just have had sort of a video writer's block on Destiny stuff, I think because I've been out of the game for a couple weeks, it's been hard to wrap my brain around what type of content I want to put out heading into the next season. So I wanted to put out this little hype video just showing my excitement of the new season so you guys know I am all in it. And then this week look forward to the Presage chess video and then I'm also going to make a video with recommendations on what to do this week to prepare for next season. And then I may make a video on either transmog or possibly the weapon balance updates and some of the weapons that I'm keeping for PvE purposes. But today's video is going to be about the hype of the trailer and what we know so far going into a next season. If you haven't watched the new season of the Splicer trailer, I will leave a link down below. I highly recommend it. It is pretty hype and it's got that Tron kind of prophecy theme to it, which I really love as well. I'll be playing bits and pieces in the background so you guys can check it out. Season 14, Season of the Splicer starts May 11th, which is next Tuesday at reset and runs through August 24th. From the trailer, we can see a lot of new weapons, new armor, a new six player match made activity, and what looks like a new secret mission coming our way. So let's take a look at the calendar and go over the dates for this upcoming season. May 11th, we're going to be getting the intro mission, Armor Synthesis, aka Transmog, from A to 1, and The Endless Night Begins. I think this is a nod to the fact that the tower is going to have that kind of purple nighttime hue to it. Looks super amazing. It's probably going to stay that way for most of the season, which I think is really cool. And then we're also going to get new stasis aspect quests and we kind of saw a little bit of this in the trailer we saw at the very end the titan throwing what looks like a stasis icicle type of thing throwing that at an enemy so i wonder if your melee will be converted to that like a charged melee and then we're also going to get override on europa i believe this is the six player match made activity as you can see in the schedule we get different locations for override so that activity is going to actually change locations similar to how battlegrounds has multiple locations that we unlocked over the course of the season so that's all coming next tuesday and then on the 14th that weekend trial starts for those of you that are into pvp and then on may 18th we've got the override on the moon and we've got iron banner coming out as well may 22nd is vault of glass this is going to be at 10 a.m pacific time so 1 p.m eastern time so mark your calendars if you are looking to get a day one emblem or want to get in on the raid race i will definitely be getting in on that and then on may 25th it looks like that weekly pinnacle mission is going to come out i believe this is what they referred to in the trailer as expunge it looks like a prophecy type whisper type three player mission and then on that same day we're also going to be getting override on the tangled shore so it's going to rotate again and then june 1st we get another weekly pinnacle mission i think this is just the same expunge mission and it's going to be something that we do over and over similar to presage hopefully there'll be some more secrets and some more little things to find and do within that mission so that it doesn't seem like a weekly chore you can see here on the schedule they've put it on every week after that may 25th so obviously we'll be going back into that mission every single week and then from July 6th to August 3rd, we've got Solstice of Heroes coming back and a Vault of Glass and difficulty option. So that'll be really cool to see people go through a Vault of Glass with different difficulties. I know that was a complaint in the past with Deep Zone Crypt that once you did it a few weeks in a row, you were like, okay, this is pretty simple. You could speed through it, no problem. So it'll be interesting to see the rewards from those different difficulty options. I hope they provide really awesome rewards from that. And then we've got the epilogue here on the schedule on August 10th which is kind of strange because that's two weeks 
before the end of the season. So I don't know if they're going to start kind of changing the way the tower looks or if there's going to be something in the lore and the story that's going to contribute to that, but it was kind of interesting. All right, next up, I wanted to show you guys the weapon preview that they shared with us for Season of the Splicer. We got a look at four of the brand new weapons that are coming this season. They said that they're going to be over 30 new and reprised legendary weapons. We know these are four new ones. Of course, we're going to be getting the exotic one in the season pass. And then from the looks of the trailer, it looks like we're going to be getting our class swords back again. So those will probably be some reprised weapons. And then on the website as well, they're talking about three new class exotics that are coming this season as well. They're all leg pieces. We've got the hunter legs, star eater scales, which feast upon orbs of power, charging their super more quickly and making it more potent, which is super cool. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> And then we've got the Titan Armor Path of the Burning Steps that converts your solar elims into increased weapon damage and makes them more difficult to lock down with stasis. So I know you PvP aficionados are looking at that exotic. And then we've got Boots of the Assembler, the Warlock exotic, which condenses your rift, either healing or empowering, and it turns it into a projectile, seeking out allies to bless them with the noble benefit. So that's kind of cool, and I'm interested to see what people do with that in groups. And then for the armor, we got a little preview of what the new armor is going to look like. I'm assuming this is from the season pass. This is probably our armor ornaments from the season pass. And then speaking of armor, in the trailer, we also got a preview of this hunter dapper daddy right here with the sweater and the slacks and the shoes all put together and i am absolutely loving it a lot of people on twitter were saying they think that this is going to be the eververse armor set for the season we'll see what happens but either way i know i'm definitely going to be getting this so the last couple things on the list we're also getting a helm upgrade we are going to get basically another vendor to interact with a new chamber i believe that's going to be the downstairs looking from the images on their website so we're expanding the helm and it's going to have different nodes to it which i really love I really, 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 really wish they would bring the Cryptarch from the farm and put her in the helm because it sucks that the Prime Engrams are the only thing I can't really do at the helm. And then we got a preview into what the transmog is going to look like with Ada 1. This is going to be down in where the Forge used to be if you played Destiny back then. And Ada 1 is coming back, which I love Ada 1. I wish I had that outfit. Please let that be available at some point. Something like that, please. But transmog is an entirely different video if I want to make a rant about that. Start looking in your collection, figure out which pieces you want to transmog because there is a limit, unfortunately. So take a look at which pieces you want to get started on. And that is about it. So sorry if this video took a little bit longer to get through everything. I didn't really realize that there was so much stuff to talk about. We still have more to talk about for the season actually, but those will be in different videos. But thank you guys for watching this far. I really appreciate all of you guys and can't wait to jump back into Destiny 2 with you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.